Good evening, everybody, and welcome to a new night of RimWorld of Magic. I'm Icon, and let's have some fun. <laughs> so, tonight's plans are pretty simple. I want to grab myself a new land tile, because I feel like super unhappy with this fortress here. It's all grimy, dirty, not really well thought through. There's mechanoids, illegal mechanoids everywhere. Hey, Hjorin. And yeah, so I was looking around a little bit and tonight we're going to settle in on a new tile. Nice to see you tonight. And after this stream, I do plan on doing a little Seralim session for all the, the connoisseurs of strategic monster grinding. All right, let's get started, eh? So basically I was only deciding because of the stones that are available there. So the questions are quite simple. Do we want to have gray and white? Or here's uh, black and brown? Let's see, there were a little, a few other things that looked pretty tasty. And yeah, or true black, Gabro and Obsidian would be uh, dark gray and black t uh, walls. Or some white and marble colored. There are a lot of uh, nice things here. And also, do we want to go mountainous again or large hills? Difficult decisions, I know. And if you guys don't talk me talk me into anything, I'll do my own decisions here. Obsidian lapidolite. That sounds pretty nice too. Oh, very good. Hi, Rusty. Welcome. So... I think I want to try out the... Uh, the full black one. Where was it again? Here, Gepro and Obsidian. Let's uh, do ourselves a favor and uh, set a waymark. And leave this old filthy point uh, behind. Wait a sec, is that even where we want to be? Yeah. And leave that old filth behind. Oh, looks like Yoga is carrying something again. And the travel supply screen of Doom has uh, fallen on us. It's a really nasty bug here that while this check mark is on I really need to uh, install the mod which removes that there is a mod for that there's a mod for everything okay so we pick up a lot of animals of course a couple of kitsunis but not all of them I don't I, I can't stomach all these animals and the kitsunis really were a few too many. So, there we go. Yeah, a few too many in my, in my opinion, honestly. We don't need components where we go. Let's pick up the cloth though. So, yeah, they, they, they bred and they turned into more than that. Demon hide. We're definitely gonna keep those valuable leathers here. What I'm looking for is a fresh new start somewhere where we can have some fun. And obviously, we can't really carry too many things here. We are quite burdened already. The skill books. Probably the dragon and thrumble horns. Trophies, you know. And the money. On top of that, sufficient traveling supplies. And obviously that's not enough food at all. Okay, then. That's a tad bit iffy, don't you think? So... What's too much here? I didn't pack up 
two heavy things here. Okay. Whatever. We're going to go. Oh, we're going to leave home now. Hey, Sir Liane. Hi there. Ah. Happy that you stopped by, nevertheless. Yeah, Rusty, we can do that. We can do that. Ha! We're just uh, leaving this place before the bugs are biting us. So I'm going to ignore that one. Let's see where it will spread. I love that. What a nice timing. I mean, this place is now abandoned. Oh my god. Lydia is that slow. Okay. We're removing Lydia from the caravan. That's uh, seriously just not possible. Why is Yoran downed? Somebody care to explain? Oh yeah, she had a uh, little bit of a accident there. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. There we go. We abandoned them all to find a new home. I really enjoy things like these, you know. From time to time a fresh start doesn't hurt. We go, we, we went 300% here, yeah. Since the mat, mod pack broke in between, I also had nasty holes in the mountains of the old tile, which bothered me the whole time since I was uh, rebooting the series. And in fr a fresh tile will, will solve a lot of these issues. At least that's what I hope. Let's just hope that nobody will starve to death here. In the meantime and besides I always love the new the new pioneer time of a base in this game the most and who says that we have to restart the whole series for that we can just resettle somewhere else it's one thing I love about RimWorld you're always free to settle down somewhere else if you want to I was checking out the rest of the world, and I gotta say, it's pretty hard knock uh, life here. If you want to have access to the magic faction, there's only this fortress over here available, and beyond that, there's uh, little to nothing available there. No, there's not a sing single uh, other fortress here, so that's a pity, you know. Fresh tea. I made this uh, one right before I started tonight's stream. I feel like the first cup of tea is always the most delicious one. And after that it uh, really diminishes in quality. Alright. So we're going for the Black Fortress here. I'm pretty sure the Orc will approve. All right, you've reached your destination. Let's go. Still Eritrobland, I was considering some other tile, but who knows. Did you know that drinking tea above 60 degrees is really bad for you, apparently? Well, 60 degrees is a tad bit hot. <laughs> so... Oh, the Gabro is not black I had that wrong in my head oh I do like that actually we have the obsidian here but is that something to to build on Ooh, it doesn't look bad it doesn't look bad we can't do a nice fortress here at the center of the map there's a lot of room the sandy areas here won't be but won't be angry about being filled with um, buildings whereas here is a nice little meadow area we even have some fertile ground there
Well, I have never measured the temperature of my tea, to be honest. Alright. I love that obsidian. It's looking so friggin' dark. Okay, so... What's that? Birch. Oh, birch wood. Nice. Alright, let's get started. Since this time I'm able to plan my base a little bit more thoroughly, let's get this done. I want to have a storage area rather centralized in the fortress because it's always good. I have no clue, guys. I I literally never spend a single thought about the question how hot my tea is while I'm drinking it. It's a very interesting question, and let's uh, say one thing. I'll check it out, okay? So let's go crazy and build a really large stockpile zone. Angel moth larvae. Let's kill them before they uh, before they hatch. All right. The real fun part here is that we're super strong already, and therefore it's super easy for us to get things done. I love the musket on Zuzette. Well, angel moths are super annoying. They they eat they they feed from fab they feed off fabrics. So, they would even eat our demon hide and uh, dragon leather. And now don't call that murder again. Nobody would want that. Okay, so first things first, we need a stone working table again. Or is it stone cutter's table? We'd need mixed lumber for that, and uh, therefore we need a woodworking table. Well, can't we do that out of other materials? Yeah, we can, okay. Doesn't have to be um, silver, wood. Isn't there the option to do mixed lumber at these thingies? Yeah, we can do that, okay, perfect. All right, now, this needs to be deconstructed and that needs to be chopped, all of it, thank you. Do we have enough food for the animals? I highly doubt it, honestly. But there sure should be some agaves around. Yeah, there we are. What's that? Angelite. I've never found angelite before. I wonder if that was a recent addition or not. I mean, the predatory animals in our colony will feed on whatever is hanging around here. So we don't need to worry about these. Yeah, but just like I said, there's uh, plenty of agave. That's the fun thing about uh, the arid shrubland. It's it's not arid at all. You, you find plenty of food here. So, the Opuntia. All right. Well, your decision, Rosie. I don't think it's worth uh, spending, uh, saving your time now, uh, spending your money right away now already. But I won't be arguing about that, honestly. You guys do what you do. Okay, stonecutter's table is one of the first things we'll need, and since we now have access to some sort of wood or where is it at i'm blind here so we're lacking some steel here for to begin with let's stick that out of the walls meanwhile let's send the orc to get rid of the the animals here But you're not totally wrong uh, with, th with that, Rossi. My plan was to do it like... I want to 
not abandon this series, but start the uh, Genetic Rim series parallel to that, so that so that I can swap a little bit back and forth. I sadly gotta say the um, Rim World of Madness, the Cult series, is a little bit a little bit done for me because I honestly didn't like the cult content that much because it was based a little bit too much around sacrificing stuff the whole time. I mean, it's fun in a way, but I think it wasn't that fun with the Twitch toolkit. I don't know, it felt tedious at some point. Maybe you guys had too much fun with the sacrifices, but at the same point, I, I, I don't... I don't want to argue about that. I mean, that's uh, what's the point to, if you don't do that? So, long story short, I think that RimWorld of um, uh, Genetic Rim will be a way better um, mod pack to be played with Twitch Toolkit. So, hey, y'all, welcome. Nice to see you. Yeah, exactly, Rossi, exactly. It has to be fun after all. But it was my first real attempt with the uh, Rim, with the Rim World of Madness uh, cult pack, to be fair. I had no clue what would be uh, up my sleeve here anyway, so I am forgiving myself all these problems. <laughs> Also, I feel like Genetic Rim will be a lot of fun because you guys can decide what to combine with what and that's therefore a lot more fun to work around. Whereas with the Rims of Madness, yeah, you decide what for one cult and then you're uh, pretty, you're pretty sticking with it, you know? Well, I had no clue what was uh, ahead of me there, so it's been fun while it lasted. Don't want to talk bad about it. Maybe I'll even return to that at some point. So simple beds. I want those. Two, four, six, and eight people. Yoga doesn't need a bed. So five, six, seven, and eight. Alrighty. Oh man, this is going to be a fun fortress, because I can't imagine that we're able to build up some nasty defenses. I think I'll do defenses on both sides, just to be ready for attacks from both sides. Ah, oh, save our ship. Well, if I do that, I need some, some extra access to materials. Maybe do some quarry mod, because I tried to do save our ship without, and it was... It was no fun. You need such rotten amounts of steel and plasteel later to build a, a spaceship, it's just uh, sick. Seamus created a masterwork bad. Does it have art? No, it doesn't. Too bad. Okay. Pop is sleeping out there. Chilling some. Rusty is drinking some milk. Just a peaceful day at our new base. All right, let's take down the uh, predators here. I don't want any incidents on my animals here. Also, do we have the, what's wrong with the butcher table? Why is nobody building that? Because we don't have the necessary mixed lumber, got it. Well, it was a little bit of a large order after all. All right. There we go. Done and done. Let's allow the storage of corpses inside here, but forbid the rotten stuff. A pirate mod. I have no clue if... I honestly got no clue if there's anything like that. Now we at least got ourselves some beds to sleep in. I mean, that is a start, isn't it? What's wrong with Cerno? Tainted Chainmail ETC. Thought disabled by Death Knight. Legit. Okay, stuff is deteriorating because of outdoors and uh, whatnot. So, we have to do what we have to do. So, let's uh, make any stone blocks here. 
and dumping stockpile zone goes here. And let's start to dump stockpile these items. All right. Can't remember when it when was the last time that I went for such a huge building project right away. But it sure it looks like fun. So I'll send Yoga to cut these stones here because it's just the best thing he can do by night. So I'd say we'll use the nice gray uh, gray green thingies. A dragon dragon hybrid high on aquaferium. What the heck is Arcoferium? Never seen that before. Okay. So we can do real embrasures and parapets now. That's cool. All right. I want to do this crazy huge storage hall. I don't know. Maybe it's not gonna be smart. What the heck do I care? So we need to put up several columns here. Just to stabilize that whole project, you know. Pretty sure these are too many columns, but you know, I always feel like in medieval architecture, can there be such a thing like too many columns? I highly doubt it. As far as I know, by the way, dragons are not compatible with the Rim World of uh, with, with Genetic Rim. There's no interaction as of yet. So let's go for a hoopstone ring. Uh, we can't do a golden one, so let's do a silver one. And we need a game of ore board. Let's do that out of wood for now. Oh, food poisoning via berries. Okay. And yes, please, the butcher table is extremely necessary. We butcher anything which is inside the radius here. Oh. There we go. Arcoferium basically turns anything you give it into a god. Okay. So, hi Cerno, welcome. Alright, at least we're uh, slaughtering the animals now again, so there's not going to be any huge waste. Okay. I really don't understand any uh, Espanol, sadly. But you can't learn anything, everything, I guess. So, let's go for the game of Ur. I didn't know that Seamus was uh, the construction dude, but oh my god. And happy to see so many of you here tonight. Cheers. I figured you guys would like some Rim World of Magic tonight. And I was really looking forward to this project here as well. Because I felt like I was a tad bit bored around the setup we had before but what we have with a uh, with a new outlook like this i'm really looking forward to it so let's see a stove or what's available beyond that nothing let's see medieval is there anything so hearth we can cook food at the okay well no we won't build a hearth here Right away. A smokehouse. Let's do that for now. So. Hey Nick, hi there. 
And, uh, well, sorry to hear that, but I'm happy that you're around anyways. Yeah, I wanted to build a real, uh, a real castle here, basically. And the old base was kind of like, I don't know. I, I didn't uh, feel it anymore, and therefore I wanted to go for something new. Okay, we have not enough lumber, so let's uh, go some chopping. Do some chopping. There we go. That should be enough. Now... Emu revenge. <laughs> Cute. The emu is trying to fight off the Tyrann Tyrannosaurus. Cutie. Oh, Deodons. Alright, let's put Nick to the test. He's bored anyways. Watch the VOD. I don't know how Nick can beat a dragon that easily. And quick questions. Why are those skeletons making which things so dangerous? Um, because these guys are summoning stupidly strong minions that have extremely heavy ranged attacks that can easily take down huge uh, amounts of players. Like, the, the Lich event is among the most dreaded events, but if you take down the Lich real quick, he can summon giants, and skeleton giants are the real problem, they deal tons of damage, and the Lich himself is a necromancer who can drop down a AoE spell, which, can, which deals stupid amounts of damage for every living being in there, and it's super easy to wipe an entire colony with, uh, against a, a uh, Lich, super easy. But if you get on top of him really quickly, you can finish off the event and make it look super easy like I did there. But seriously, I only it was only because we had a character like Huran who was able to just jump on his face like that. That made a big difference. My uh, wife lost an entire colony to this event and basically it was through that event on her side that I learned what to to do there in that scenario to not wipe on that but before you know that it's a real nasty one and it's super easy to just blow yourself up with that what's wrong what's going on guys with your uh, spanish stuff yeah my my wife is a uh, passionate playeress herself sir no meanwhile just uh, keeps destroying stuff All yeah, right, you guys got uh, to go quite early uh, today. Too bad. Oh, that's fine. That's why I'm here daily, you know. All right. Also, I want to. Oh, I can't forbid the obsidian chunks. So, all right. We need to create gabbro chunks now. Preferred, preferably. Pop is on food binge because he's depressive. Is German folklore as terrifying as I've been told? If you're going for the Brothers Grimm, yes. That's just some messed up stuff. Seriously. I uh I I wouldn't uh I wouldn't recommend to, to read that to your children. Even though they were uh they were used for children quite a lot these books, but uh, it's really some spooky stuff. Weather event. Okay, that's at least harmless. Alright. Let's send Yoga to take these thingies down. You guys will go for the foggy rain. The Brit weather, uh, the Brit weather emulation. Alrighty. I really want to get that uh, that storage room here done as quick as possible because I don't feel like this is uh, a good thing that we have so much deterioration on all these costy things, especially on the demon hide and uh, the dragon leather. I don't like that too much. I am mega 
unknowing about Spanish, so they could just uh, talk. Oh, Rusty and Cognito are marrying here on the new ground. Oh, it's a, it's a dream marriage. Human and Mind Flayer. Mmm, tasty. So, Seamus is for some reason no longer attached to the player, but... Me gusta Google. <laughs> I have no clue about Spanish, sadly. So many beautiful languages in the in the world. <laughs> <laughs> so Cognito, why are you doing that? Is that food poisoning? Why is he puking? Like, seriously, is that some illicit? <laughs> is that some illicit custom to celebrate? <laughs> Sorry guys, that's just too much for me. <laughs> no, no, Rossi, I think that's just uh, that's just what they do if they really say I love you. <laughs> Good lord! I, I seriously got no clue why he why, why he did that. I can only ah, oh, it's because of the arcane weakness. Mm, that was the reason, but. <laughs> I love RimWorld for these little occurrences, you know. I just, uh, I just can't get enough. All right, we need way more Gabbro chunks, so let's uh, gather that up. A green wedding. <laughs> Okay, let's not deepen that, please. Alright, Rossi and Cheetah one have formed a bond. She's now named Tropicana. Alright, fine wine. Alright, we should definitely... Um... Why can't Cognito drink wine? So seems like illicits are not fancying the wine? Obviously. All right. I think the the wife has has quite the need here. All right. I kind of think we need another bard. Okay. That's true. I mean, we have the bard book there. That's true. Yeah, it was not planned to lose the bard like that. Weapon cargo pods. Hooray! Ember throwing rocks. Yeah, rose quartz ain't uh, a good ain't a good material here. Rose quartz is a um, is a material out of the ocular forest alpha biome. It's no particular gemstone or something like that. Sadly. Okay. Are oh, we're sitting? No, no. They're all doing useful things. So let's send Nick there. Yeah. Well, for some reason, the it's not even that nice to look at because it's just a. It's no real rose quartz, but let's let's pretend it's real life rose quartz. I like your uh, version there more, Nick. Okay, speaking about which, a war merchant arrives. No, that's not really related to what I said before. But zoom over there and see what we can do. Crystalline caracal. What's that? A heavily modified wildcat er, uses stored energy blasts of concentrated light. Okay. Okay. Interesting there.
Okay, at least we gained some money out of that. That's cool. Do we want to buy or sell anything here? I don't think so. We're good. Or maybe buy some medicine. I like that. Techno socks. I didn't notice those. So another one for Huran. Okay. From 18 to 20. Congratulations! You are now a legendary master. There you go, buddy. Oh, Nick. <clears throat> I sometimes have to do that, you know. He's an orc after all. He has urges. He he, he has bitten out the echolocation organ of the uh, lizard. I bet that's some orcish tradition. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever. All right. The storage area takes forever to finish. Let's see if I can change something about the behavior here. So Rusty could go into construction and Cerno as well. We just don't have enough constructors. There we go. That's better. Specific tastes, yeah, that's uh, that's a nice idea to to put it like that. All right, it's all a little bit rough around the edges, but we're getting started. A melee trainer for the old man. Okay, let's see how good he was. Seventeen. You guys are. <laughs> you need the twenties now, hey. <laughs> All right, you want to feel the power. So, wait a sec. Defense from projectiles. Ah, okay. This is basically like. Uh... Okay, let's do solid walls there. seal off our premises a tad bit more. Safety TM. Since this is all going to be a big fortress, we have to start somewhere, you know. That's looking way better now. Oh, and uh, let's see how many skill points we have available on everybody. So, Huran has one skill available. I want to increase the face strike now because it's such a powerful thing. Cerno had another skill increase on melee, so that really didn't connect. Guessing people still hate Nick. I, I, I'm going to check that out in a sec. Give me a moment, please. Divination. Yeah, why not? I just spread over, spread out these skill points, and then we're going to take a look see, okay? So, Hiroshi needs a little bit more there, but Arrowstorm starting to max out. So, well, he really likes Rusty, and Rusty likes him, Huran likes him, Pop is kind of like neutral, you see? It's not that horrible anymore. So, there we go. So sad that the monk class is kind of broken on the Warforged, because they don't need sleep. The automatic schedule of meditation just doesn't work on them. That's so sad. Grave blade. All right, more range, less cost time, higher radius. Definitely a taker. Okay. P 
purity. Let's max that more. Well, everybody should respect the orc in solid golden armor. Just saying. All right, come on, finish the last piece of wall here and finally get the roofing done, please. <laughs> All right, the room is that large. They aren't even considering to build a roof there for, on their own. Animal lover, okay, congratulations, Rusty. That was kind of costly, wasn't it? So, happier when nuzzles or being the master, deeply crushed, they also refused to butcher. Rusty was not assigned to cooking, wasn't she? No. Alright. Hey, we did it. The storage is finally done. So, we got that now down. Let's continue with the outer walls. <laughs> I love the cheetah named Tropicana. And let's uh, think about where our living areas will be. I really feel like this looks like a nice area for the quarters. This is pretty close to either side of the of the base when it's being attacked and we can create our working and workshop areas on this side for the non vegetable things and on this side more for the vegetable heavier things and yeah let's do this I like the idea now, this will also mean that we're going to carve out rooms into the mountain. I want to do a little bit of uh, both, but mostly do I want to carve myself deeper into the mountain because that will give me access to more stones and judging from the looks of it, we're going to need a lot of stone here for this whole project. There we go. Oh, this is so much fun. I love to build new stuff. New bases and such are always a lot of fun. Alright, let's get started like that. Probably gonna do a few more majestic quarters here. is falling from the skies. I did turn that stuff off, didn't I? Let's see. Yeah. Oh man, I hate royalty for that so much that you're not receiving any options to turn off mechanoids completely. It's so annoying. I don't know why, but... Oh, it was... Uh... Wait a sec, the cluster was triggered by the right... Wait a sec. No. No. The right didn't go through. Yeah, yeah, I just noticed it. Yeah, didn't you worry. It's not that horrible. It's just... Uh... Since we just started on this map, it's not going to be that horrible. Alright, let's take this down. It's just a small one. We'll toss a lightning storm on top of that, and the rest will be easy pickings. But, uh... Why is the mechanoid waking up, though? Take him down, Zuzette. Let lightning fall from the heavens. 
that's what I love to see. Alrighty. So, there's the aura in front of us. Let's get in there. Huran can just... Uh, I want her to face strike on that thing. Wait a sec, she doesn't... <laughs> we left the sword behind. <laughs> Alright. We gotta stomach that. Stuff doesn't come back like that. Alright. We need to top drop down another lightning spell on that. There we go. Wait a sec, is that being catched by... See ya, Cerno. Happy that you were around there tonight. Nah, we're not dying here. Don't you worry. It's way too easy to die from, uh, to let us uh, die from that. All right. Now is a good time to release the animals. And send in the monk. The good news is we got so many life leechers that it's going to be not really any problem whatsoever to heal up the wounds. I'll be sending in the spirit wolves now to shred down the turrets back there. And there we go. Mission accomplished. Easy. God King time! <laughs> Alright, let's go into go into reckless charge and smack that filthy mortar show him some green superiority all right let's make a run for it that's that so yalda doesn't have a character yet now All right, we did it. Ah, oh, that was fun. It's always quite cathartic to kick some uh, mechanoid butt, gotta say. Smash mechanoid. <laughs> we gotta do what we gotta do, guys. So let's just uh, accept it that on this planet, obviously, the mechanoid horrors can't be fully removed. <laughs> they would be medieval. <laughs> yeah, well. As long as it's no full fledged um, invasion of centipedes, it's all quite okay. But, well, we are right now already that powerful that I don't think that mechanoids are that much of a problem anymore. I feel like that's uh, that's just fine. Now, it's only four rooms though. And that's room number six. And a Dinotherium. Aww, do we want to adopt that? I'd say yes. Come on. So, Rusty. A Dinotherium called Lion. Aww, poor thing. Let's just take care that it doesn't die under our hands. Celestial Guidance, Zap, and Dr. Pop, oh, Dr. Pop ain't doing nothing because stupid lion is walking again.
animal will collapse any moment though. Maybe it wasn't that wise to uh, heal it via a spell in the first place. So, how should we call the local settlement? settlement? I think it's time to do that. It's time to to call out the fortress of Steve Chefelin. <laughs> We've all been waiting for that. I should probably get some sleep now. All right, good. Good luck with that interview tomorrow, Yoga, and sleep well. Thanks for stopping by, it's been a pleasure. See you soon, and I hope it's going well. I mean it. And don't you worry too much about it. Cactipine Revenge. My little nasty reptish shrimp. The Andrusarchus and Londorus. So, 16 man manhunting Andrus Andrusarchus. Let's, let's do this. It's always a pleasure to have events that trigger a filthy amount of animals onto your map. The Berserker is already uh, is already looking for it. Londoras. Well, squeamish. Sour stomach plagues. Londoras anytime they're around too much blood or rotting corpses. That is just so fitting for a bard. <laughs> That's just the, like the, the most uh, fitting trait for a bard that I've seen in a long time. What's that? What's that race though? What is it? <laughs> I have no clue what kind of race that thing is. First I thought it was a helmet or something like that, but no. Actually not. So, let's give that guy the magically gifted trait. Boom. Skyrim cats? I haven't enabled the Khajiit race. It must be, if anything, it must be a... Uh, a Dungeons and Dragons race, but I don't know. All right, these these guys, by the way, are quite dangerous. You know, they are. They do a lot of damage. Twenty four per blow. So we actually got a fight for that one. All right. Let's meet them at the gates of the storage room. <laughs> it's way less epic this way, I know. Such is life. Alright, let's see how this fight will go. Luckily I got that much life leech on my animals, uh, on my fighters. I said animals because I'm worried about my animals, but... Let's send out some spirit wolves to flank them. Well, the lion has lost its tail. My baryonyx is tanking it right now. Which is kind of like totally not what I would like to see, but let's see. Suzette has no spell points left. Okay. All right, Nick has to get in there. Let's turn on the haste. Hey Pop, hi there! Welcome! Nice to see you. So, 
So let's do a little grave blade here. Good lord. What have we done? So... <laughs> so many stacked on top of each other. <laughs> Yoga's pretty roughed up, though. It's only a war crime if uh, if they didn't start the fight. Alright, since I don't want things to take forever with the healing... Oh! Yo, Cognito. You're kind of like lost in there. Alrighty, see you soon, Nick. Nice that you stopped by. And uh, the VOD will be online tomorrow. Around midnight. Oh, uh, well, okay. Not on your side of the world, but... Like, from here on, two to three hours. Tomorrow. Let's give Yoga some healing. Let's stick around. I'll decide on the on the room, okay? So let's see what we'll what we'll do for a Nick. See ya, man. Yoga has an infection. How is that even possible? He's a friggin' machine. Well. Cast failed. Oh, the uh, mm, the infection is automatically off him. I see. Yeah, that little cactipine has no chance whatsoever. There we go, so two, four, and five rooms. We'll need a few more for that. Specific goal there. Okay. Oh, it joined us. Lion the Dinotherium joined. Lovely. Oh, the raptor shrimp ain't drafted yet. And by the way, lion, the lion survived as well. All right. I really love it how everything here comes together so in such a quick manner. And also, I want to have more wood. Besides that, let's harvest a few of these uh, gabies again. Yeah, so... 300% threat ain't not much uh, to bother us right now. The staff... Mm, you don't have any weapons here so far. We only have the Hood of Madness on you. Okay. One thing I want to place down now, rather, before anything else, is a nice little grove of... Dragos? Yeah, let's put Dragos. Yeah, no props, Pop. The series is running now for quite a long time as well, after all. So, 
So, Huran. was entombed one more time. I'll give Huran that uh, dragon horn. So we'll at least have a usable weapon. It's pretty useful. Uh, it's a pretty powerful weapon as well. Dragon horns are really nothing to spit at. Oh, that Londorus guy doesn't have a bed yet. But I do like the idea to turn Londorus into a bard. Because bards are just so good to have. And like I said, a squeamish person just is such a uh, awesome bard. Don't forget about it. I try to. I try to. I think I forget about it in a very regular pace until you remember me about it. Alright. I feel like we could really use some fire mage on this colony to get rid of all the uh, bodies that are bothering me so much. Thanks, Pop. <laughs> I mean, it's a little bit worn uh, worn already. Only 50% uh, left. We'll be getting there. Alright. So, the first suite of rooms is getting done. I'd say we do a similar thing over at this place. That's room number six. Room number seven. And we need eight rooms for now. Because the Wolf Watch doesn't need a room, probably. There we go. Good lord, they are fast. Oh yeah, and we need, of course, a few double beds here. I totally forgot about that. So... Cerno started a social fight with Cognito. I want to know why he's punching the priest. So, pig skin? No, we're going to go heavy fur. We got, I got so much heavy fur. So, if I remember correctly, we had two couples left. It was Huran and... Oh, no, Runzen is dead. But there was one more couple, oh no. Pop and Suzette, exactly. And Cognito and Russie, so we'll need those. Okay. Okay. Just randomly chopping more wood to get the uh, the doors and such done here. Oh, there's gloom lights. And I wanted to know what the social fight was about. Cognito made a contemptuous remark about Cerno's grandparents. <laughs> Come on. You're talking crap about a 90-year-old man's uh, grandparents? You certainly deserved some punches. All right. Let's use those gloom lamps. I mean, if I'm not able to disable the the uh, mechanoids here, I'll just uh, relax and ride it. So, Suzette and Pop? I, kept, I keep forgetting. Yeah, that's right. And Russie and Cognito. 
Let's see. But I think it was only three couples here. Yeah. Okay. So we've got that topic done. Alrighty. Nice. Quick break for fresh tea and the restroom. Going to be right back, friends. Okay, now, I think you need a empty spot between by men and uh, by and men in black. That should work. Okay. Nice. Alright, Yalda, that's your guy. Ape, the actor. <laughs> he hates dumb labor, he's good at social stuff. And you can select a character class for a bad guy if you want to. Or, no, not if you want to. You can't select the character class for him. Yalda. Alright, there we go. <gasps> no, I didn't mean to. Oh, dang. It was the wrong one. Let's see. Should still work, shouldn't it? No. Oh, dang. How can I unassign that? Oh, how can I unassign that? Anybody know? I'm sorry, man. I, uh, I assigned the wrong character to you. So let's see. Name queue. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, uh, I picked the wrong button. Oh, that was the forbidden button. Now everything. Well, okay. At least now I can assign it to you again because now all the characters are no longer assigned to anybody. But. Okay, Cognito is still there. Cerno is still there. That was. Uh, Rusty. I hope it was Rusty. Oh no, I'm sorry guys, that happened to me 
a while ago. So let's see. No, that's Suzette. Dr. Zoo is 213. Yoga is. Let's see. Yoga is still assigned. That's Alpha Nixter. I think that was uh, Huran. Huran 98. Seamus, that was Pop. And wait a sec. There. No. That one was Seamus. It's so disgustingly difficult. So, and I can't unassign them. Oh man, this system is so ruddy. Oh. There must be a different way to do that. There must be a different command to do that. So name Q is is evil. Okay, got it. So Cognito has an infection. Should there be not something? I, I'm so sorry, guys. That's uh. uh unstick me. So, Pop, can you try that unstick me uh, command I just uh, looked up here? I don't know if that's uh, the thing, but uh, this one. Probably that's gonna work. Yay, we got wolves! Thank you, man. I really only messed up with these. This one is Seamus and this one was Pops, but uh, well. I somehow seem to be... Okay, let's see if that's possible, thanks. No, it didn't do what I, ho what I was hoping. Nah. Oh man, this is so annoying. Okay, let's do this one more time. See. Maybe I can. Ah, here we go. Bang. Here it is. Ha. Okay. God bless. <laughs> I already was a little bit afraid that I had to redo it all the way. Okay. Oof. All right. Sorry for the boring interaction there, but now you all know what it's like to manage that stuff. Certainly no fun. Alright. I hope I didn't miss too much while being distracted by all this. Now, I want these rooms a little bit more opulent here, so... And Cognito's infection is already dealt with, okay. Oh, we found Solaride. Nice. I love Solaride. Solarite has that natural glow ability on itself. Alright. Londras. Or, yeah, well. I won't be reincarnation, reincarnating our, uh, our bard from the last time. 
Okay, it's raining now. Just doesn't feel right, you know. Need my karma back. Well, in the long run, it is. Uh, it, it does do a lot. Garnet, nice. All right. And regarding Nick's question about which room Nick will receive, I'd say we'll let Nick decide that, which room he'll take. Sounds like a good thing for me. All right. This is slowly turning into a home. Oh, wait a sec. Are zebras pack animals? Yes, they are. All right, let's tame a couple of those. That's going to be really, really useful. Nice. Really, really nice. Well, that also means we need even more quarters. So I don't want to do any living room too close here, so we're going to set up more living areas rather here. Zebras join. Ah, oh, thank you, man. I've seen some YouTube comment uh, today, Yalda, that and when I where I was wondering if that came from you, because the guy featuring the comment had some videos featuring some Trinidad uh, relation. DJ No Dome, is that you? I was I was wondering. I didn't want to ask that uh, directly on the on the tube because I felt like that would be uh, a little bit uh, unfitting. I wanted to ask you here. All right, the zebras are really good. They're more like utility animals because we need them for trade, but we will have trade at some point again you don't have videos then it must be, then it's just a uh, a wacky coincidence just like I thought oh ambrosia and it's right right in our base mm, nice I like that generally said I'm quite happy with uh, how how this uh, fortress is coming together now Sure, still a little bit rough on the edges, but we'll be getting there. This definitely looks like a place which will be eventually quite good to be quite good defendable. Um, he just said something generic, good stuff pimpin' on one of my videos. It's just... Uh, I was just wondering because I don't didn't know any people from uh, Trinidad in my life before, you know. Even more so a pleasure, of course, you know. So next episode, I will also try to remember to uh, install some floor mods. Because I feel like, I, I feel incomplete without my floor mods. You know me. So, here go the zebras. Ruby throwing rocks. If you, if you just want to fling wealth at your enemy. Feel my wealth. Bonk. My lesson of the day is don't test with... Insult. <laughs> I had no clue either. <laughs> Did that stuff happen while I was uh, on my tea break? Okay. 
Let's uh, send Nick on a really hard challenge. The Wild Pod. Wild Pods are stupidly strongly armored monsters and... Let's see. Is there anything stopping this guy? Good lord. This is friggin' scary. Name is Zebra Marty. Sure thing. He took on the dragon, he'd be fine. True dad. <laughs> so, we'll call, of course, the only male Zebra Marty, because reasons. There we go. That'll also mean I want to take down the other wild pods too. That's crazy. This is so strong, like... I had no clue that Berserkers would grow that strong later on. I think the whole you need to turn it into uh, hippo, you need hippopotamus. I think hippo is too short. Will do, will do, Rossi. Oh boy, max level shapeshift now. Turns into a friggin' Dino Kruta. Whatever, Dino Dino Krokuta. That sounds like. Uh, Okay, I don't know. Gigantic hyena-like predator. 21.5 damage. Therizinosaurus. 12 damage. Not that powerful. It's so crazy that Rusty can't just uh, do as often as he wants to. Quetzal Quatlus. I looked up some commands using all commands and then tried some weird commands. Your karma took a nosedive for that. Well, let's check this out. Your karma is at 140% on my end. Ah, I see. But, let's see. In... Insult. Edit. Disable. So, I just disabled the command because obviously it didn't, it doesn't do anything, so I feel like it's uh, not cool if it's hanging around there. Thanks for pointing it out. Alright, Yalda is our new um, talky guy. Oh, and I need to remove the hand cannon. Men in black always spawn with a gun, I can't change that. No problem, Pop. I thank you for uh, finding that that problem in the system. All right, let's see what these guys are selling. Oh, it's uh, geomancy or nature ranger. Okay, they actually do do have a few things. So we're selling away the shield core because that's not fitting. I also sell away the uh, components. I don't care that they don't have the money to, to pay me for this, because, you know. Ah, somebody whipped out the mod pack. Really thought my shapeshift would be a bit more powerful. Yeah, well... I think it's like you're supposed to fling out the summons. And look at that, we are also able to shapeshift into a dire wolf now. I think that was because we unlocked... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we're, we're going to do. So, dire wolf. 22, 20.2 damage. Seems to be able to face for some reason. 8.8 cells per second move speed. 
points average damage per second. That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. And there seem to be some special skills that are not demarked here. Yeah, Rusty was just jumping because of that, and it has no cooldown and it doesn't cost anything, so... We can either go for random animals or for a guaranteed um, dire wolf now, which is quite cool. I like that. Oh, I totally forgot to configure our new arrivals. Oh dear. So, new doctors in town. Yalda is also a skilled person with the animals, uh, with people. Also another form of animals. <laughs> Londres, also a capable constructor and miner. I like that. And Yalda can go for crafties. I like that too. Doctoring is not bad either. Okay. Cool stuff. Alrighty. Oh, there's another room being finished. So I guess I'll end tonight's stream also rather soonish. Because, believe it or not, this is way more exhausting than it looks like. Especially the whole planning part, but I'm super happy with where we came out tonight. And I think that's a awesome staging point for the next episode. Can you remain uh, to pop? Of course, of course. I just uh, kind of like uh, went away from that. Uh, I, I thought so. So let's uh, do the other things as well while we're at it. <laughs> hey, welcome back, Jorn. I just stated that I'll turn down the RimWorld stream rather soonish. And after a short break, I'll be diving into some... Seralim. Because I feel like... Feel like that. Also, we're now in 90 minutes and we founded a completely new base and there has been a lot happening here. Sometimes I really notice that these things are more exhausting than I than I thought. But seriously, this is looking really nice. Next episode I'm going to check out how we're going to set up the, the actual fortress part. And Yalda, you should be considering what kind of character you want to character class you want to pick for your for your fella, I'll maybe will be uh, will be um, generous. If you would go fire mage, I'll even gift you the book. Wink, wink. But really, just just pick what you want to. Just pick what you want to. And we're not going to see this. This was not the last of this uh, run, pop. Don't you worry. So to everybody who joined late, we're going to continue this series for sure. Woo! More zebrazes. And we're going to launch parallel to this sometime in the future. A series for Genetic Rim, which will be uh, a var variation for this one when we don't... When I'm a little bit tired of medieval play. Sometimes I am. We're going to have some series where we do genetic monsters and stuff like that. It's one of my favorite mods after all, and I know why. Alrighty. Now then, I'll say goodnight to everybody who's not going to be joining for the next stream. It has been my pleasure, and... Tomorrow, same time about that. I don't know what I'll be streaming, but... Central European time, 10 p.m. 
the no, Central European time plus two, 10 p.m. We're going to start a new uh, a new stream, and feel free to drop a, a follow on the channel if you haven't done so already. I'd be happy to about that. See you in a minute, guys, and thanks for hanging around. It's been a blast.